Well, today we're going to have a look at the markers that are in some of the ropes that we produce. We're often, often people assume that the markers are just there for decorative purposes, but that's not always the case. Sometimes they actually serve a functional purpose and they, actually, they help to identify all sorts of things like the age of the rope or what its material is made of or the size, or all sorts of things like that. So we're going to talk about a few of the different variations that we have. So the first and most obvious one is all of these, almost all of these ropes, have got a black marker in it. That's actually a Marlowe trademark. So we put a black marker into most of our products to help identify that we've made it. So you can see it here in the in this fast rope. There's a little black yarn that's appearing in there. You can see it there. So in the multi-black rope, the marks serve another purpose. They only pass in one direction. The strands going the other way don't have markers in. This means that when you come to do the splice, tucking marked strands under the marked strands and unmarked strands under the unmarked strands, which actually makes the splice a little bit easier to do. In addition to the black mark, we also sometimes have an orange mark in the ropes. This is a pre-stretched polyester, and like all of our pre-stretched polyester ropes, it has an orange mark in it, which denotes that it's a pre-stretched product, and not the standard product. Sometimes we also use the black mark to denote other things. In the example here with the static ropes, this is a 10.5mm static, there's always two marks in the 10 and a half mil. The 11 mil always has three marks in the 11 mil. The 12 mil always has four marks. So the, the number of markers in there is actually denoting not just that it's Marlowe product, but how big it is. So in addition to the black marks in the static, you can see here there's two little blue marks. These are a year marker, so they denote the year of manufacture. Um, you can see in the 12 mil example, the markers are green because it's made in a different year. So this product is our Protec 500. It's an Aramid cover, Technora, high melting point material. It's an 11 mil rope, so three markers. But this time the markers are in polyester, not the Technora material. There's a reason for that. One of those reasons is that it means that the markers will show signs of heat exposure before the uh, Technora material shows those signs. So you can tell ex from the outside if those markers have been damaged, that rope has been exposed to a high temperature. Sometimes the markers are there to denote the material the rope is made from. Now this, unlike some of these other things I've talked about, is industry standard. So it relates back to some ISO standards. So inside this rope, there is a little green thread running through the middle of the rope. That green thread denotes that it's nylon. So if you ever find a rope, regardless of who made it, with a green thread in the middle of it, that rope should be made out of nylon. Likewise, this polyester rope should have, if I find the right strand, a blue thread running through the middle of it. That blue thread denotes that it's made out of polyester. There are also similar different colours that denote whether the rope is made out of polypropylene, polyethylene or other materials. Another marker that we use is this line fleck. You find that in almost all of the products that we produce that have a Dyneema core. This is in there basically to tell us that it has got a Dyneema core. Been, it's common in the range, you find it in D2 racing like this one. You'll also find it in the XL racing, there will be a line fleck throughout the range. Just like that line fleck that denotes the Dyneema, we also have this product which is D2 Club. It does use Dyneema but it's a lower specification Dyneema, SK38. So we chose a different colour for the marker, we went with orange. This rope, another static again, has uh, two extra markers. Uh, there is the yellow marker in there, that's actually an acid indicating marker, a halochromic marker. So that actually changes colour if the rope is exposed to an acid that would damage the fibres. The other one that's in there, which probably doesn't show up well on the video, is there's a retro reflective thread running through here as well, which in the event that you're shining a light at the rope in the dark, means the rope will stand out, is, is very dramatic. The retroreflective marker is the same type of material that you find in high-vis vests, so it shines the light straight back at the source. Okay. In addition to just simple coloured markers, some ropes, like this static rope, have a whole centre tape inside, giving a whole, a whole load of additional information. If I can find it, there we go. So inside this rope, there's a centre tape that denotes when it was made, the company that made it, the standard that it meets, and the material that it's made from. That should be present in all of the static ropes. This tape is actually a requirement of EN 1891, so you'll find it in all of the static ropes, all of the arborist ropes, all of the PPE ropes essentially. 
In addition to just looking good, the markers also denote useful information such as who made it, the year of manufacture, the material it's made from, the size of the rope. Some of these markers, like the, uh, the blue and the green, are based on international standards and should be common to all rope makers, but a lot of them are just what we do. So some of these markers, are, such as the, uh, the green or the blue that denote the material, those are international standards that everybody should be complying with those. However, a lot of these are just what Milo does to help our customers to understand what the products are doing. Hopefully this will help you understand what some of these markers mean.